We are Team Hattex from Muthur Institute of Technology and Science, winners of Reboot Kerala Hackathon 2020, food category, conducted at Naipunyu School of Management, Chetan. Myself, Srinuji, mentor of the team. The problem statement we got was to ensure the quality of perishable food items such as fish, meat, vegetables and fruits from other states by tracking the entire process right from the manufacturing unit to the retail outlet. The motto of our institute is relentless passion for excellence. The entire MITS family is trying to achieve that and we are happy to be part of that. And we are 100% confident that we will try our maximum to win the grand finale come. Initially, we had a very long brainstorming session with the team, wherein we tried to figure out the exact flaw of how things should work, what all technologies should be incorporated, and what all aspects of the problem statement we should consider. At that point of time, we were really at a confused state as we had only a very vague idea of everything. But with further discussions, ideations, and constant suggestions from our mentors, we were able to figure out the exact flow and thus the project Trade and Share, a centralized tracking and quality assurance system evolved. The idea was to track the entire journey of perishable food items from the farm from where it is produced to the table from where it is consumed and thus ensure that the food you are consuming is of best quality. With the proper structuring of idea and dividing work equally among our teammates, we were able to complete the project and was able to back first prize under the food category. Coming to the proposed solution of our project, we have actually implemented machine learning to track the quality of the vegetable food items as well as blockchain to track its travel right from the farmer's farm to the retail outlet. But to increase the overall efficiency of the system, we have put forward the idea of smart box. Coming into the details of the smart box, it contains both IoT technology and some sensors embedded in it. So here we have considered Apple as a reference to the perishable good items. So we know that when the apple gets more ripened or rotten, it will produce more ethylene gases. So the sensor in the smart box, which is both the temperature as well as the ethylene sensors, will continuously keep the values of both temperature and ethylene content in the box to the cloud. And it will produce a graph showing the drastic variations in both the case. So, uh, if there is something wrong inside a particular smart box, it will be notified to the person in the next checkpoint. So, he will be asked to open the smart box and all the apples inside the box will be going under the machine learning algorithm. Here comes the importance of machine learning algorithm. It will actually classify the apple as either damaged one or as a uh, good apple. So, if the damaged one is there, it will be removed right from there and its quantity will be returned back to the blockchain at that particular situation. So, uh, the smart box will actually increase the overall efficiency. So, we can say that both uh, the combined technology of machine learning as well as IoT will give uh, more feasibility for our project and thus uh, gives a direct implementation into the society. So basically at every checkpoint, we would be uh, considering the IoT sensors to get the ethylene content of the box. If there is a drastic change in the ethylene content of the box, that means there is something wrong. So this is where the machine learning model comes into picture. So basically, uh, we would be using a machine learning model to, to get the damaged apples from that box. So we have used the deep learning algorithm to train a model to identify the apples as well as to classify the apples into damaged one or not. We have trained a Yolo V3 model using Image AI. This model, so basically, when we uh, give a, uh, when we pass an apple through this model, the model would be identifying the apple, and we would get the get how damaged the apple is. And from this prediction, we can actually classify the apples in damaged one, and thus removing the damage from the apple, and thus we can update the details thereby. The requirement of blockchain was to track the path of goods coming from the producer to the consumer and also to maintain the record of data from the producer level that is the quality 
uh, quantity and the color and pesticides use perceivable details to the end merchant uh, every stakeholder uh, the, in the supply chain that is the producer distributor consumer were formed a blockchain network and the producer enters the details about every characteristics and also the image of the food product they produce uh, and at the collection point they would verify the details entered by the producer uh, and also they can add more and more details that such as pesticide details uh, into the blockchain and also the output from the temperature and the gas sensor were also added to the blockchain then uh, the customer was uh, when he scans the QR code uh, he would get the details from the blockchain and he can view the detail and trust it and buy the product. Uh, it was really a great experience to participate in the Reboot Kerala Hackathon 2020. Uh, during our judgment uh, before the shortlisting of top 15 teams, uh, the mentors told us that our solution was not feasible because of the high implementation cost. So we were actually very depressed at that time uh, because of this, but it was then uh, our Honorable Finance Minister of Kerala, Dr. Thomas Saisitsa, came into the picture. Like, he was very impressed by the idea and he was ready to invest in it. Uh, so we were very happy and confident to present our solution to uh, the whole team. Uh, so we were very happy and this was most uh, the most memorable moment of our team in that Hi, I am Amla Ibrahim, representing the team Hacktex. Reboot Kerala Hackathon 2020 was a great learning experience for all of us. So, um, right from the start where we uh, brainstormed the idea to implementation till pitching, it was a good journey. Uh, hackathons are more like you go to solve a problem within a short span of time using the technologies. So Reboot Kerala Hackathon, why this is actually different from every other hackathon is what we actually felt is the mentorship that they provided. So um, they provided uh, the mentorship like uh, the people, uh, the mentors used to visit us uh, thrice in a day and they gave us the suggestions. So right from when we were brainstorming the idea, when we told what we are going to implement, they told suggestions and we could actually build on top of that. Yeah, so also they helped us uh, when we are stuck in any part of the technologies and they knew they helped with that as well. So mentorship was uh, really helped us in winning the hackathon. Yeah, so um, apart from that, I, I would like to thank the Maipunya School of Management. Why? Because of the, uh, you know, uh, the ambience they provided. See, why? Because all of us were in that sort of environment which is, you know, a developing environment where we could actually, you know, uh, there, there, there was actually a motivation to develop, uh, yeah, the solution. So the ambience they provided was really appreciable. The ambience, the food, the hostel, facilities, etc. Yeah, and I would also like to thank the volunteers out there, you know. Uh, we act, personally, we had a requirement of getting some IoT components and they provided us with, they helped us providing with the same, yeah. So, um, yeah, that was, yeah, th this is the kind of experience and it was really uh, great, um, it was great learning experience. Majorly we got to learn, like we, could, we got to know, learn as well as experiment with new technology in a limited span of time. Yeah, so... <laughs>